my big takeaway from last night was Michael needed new friends, like his circle letting him eat that pizza after it was fishy. Didn't you say that you had teammates that would not eat in restaurants on the road for that same reason? Yeah, so the flu game is now, I always thought the hungover game. I always was under the uh, assumption that he was hungover. Turns out it was food poisoning from a Utah pizza company that had five delivery people showing up at MJ's room. First of all, he has a fake name for his hotel room. Why would he be the one ordering the pizza? If there's a bunch of people in the room, why is... uh, What's the last name of the order? Jordan. <laughs> First name, Michael. Is this the Michael Jordan? No, no. Let me check the Chicago number. This is Michael Jordan. <laughs> that never, I just don't know how that entire thing happened. They said it was like 1030 or something like that. Late night pizza came to the room. The fact that he had his entire team in his room, by the way, like 11 o'clock, they weren't a part of the Chicago Bulls team. Also interesting, but that's what happens when you're Michael Jordan and you're on your sixth title or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's for me, Adam Vinatieri was a guy who – you know, when I was young, there was a couple guys that would take go out, eat the night before at local restaurants. Like, hey, let's see how the local food scene is. I know a chef over there. And it was kind of a cool thing to go over there and eat and do the whole thing, go back to the hotel. Vinatieri would never go. Vinatieri would be invited. Vinatieri would never go. So one night I was like, Vinny, why don't you ever go or whatever? And he was like, ah, what if that fat chef that you're eating? <laughs> What if, what if that chef, he didn't say I'm fat, but just to paint a better picture, what if that fat chef has, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars bet against the Colts tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And he sees uh, somebody, he probably doesn't know I exist, but let's say it's Adam Vinatieri walks in. Okay, let me go ahead and just drop a little bit of in there. This guy will be pooping all night. He can't sleep. Is that going to affect tomorrow's game? Probably not for me, even he said, because I'll probably be able to figure it out. But let's say I am sick all night. That That is a direct way that some fan can change the narrative of the game. And after Vinny told me that, I was like, you're 100% right. I mean, especially with the stooge cooks that I know back at home, they're all degenerate gamblers. I'd assume <laughs> that they would definitely want to do something like that. So I ended up just staying in. Nobody had a clue who I was. But it was something where I think once Vinatieri said that, I was like, Phew. That was something I never even thought of. And I think that was, by the way, I think he learned that up in uh, New England where it was like, uh, let's make sure that we're eating from our own chefs here because the last thing you could possibly need is to work your ass off to get to this game week or to get to this and let somebody who has literally done nothing with their life, who's got a little bit on the line for this, to attempt to ruin it for you. And I was like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. So the fact that Jordan got a pizza at 11 o'clock at night, midnight, five people delivered it, and then he looks at it and his boy's like, there's something right here. And Jordan's like... Well, I'm hungry. <laughs> Fold this son of a bitch in half. He was the only one that ate the pizza, too. Uh-huh. All you got to do is what? What's that? So Jordan's trainer, Tim, apparently went on an interview and said that he was the only one that ate the pizza because Michael spit on it and said, this pizza's mine. I'm the only <laughs> one eating it. Oh, karma. Oh, is no. That, is that, he spit on your burger. <laughs> <laughs> is that sea bass back there? Again? <laughs> So Jordan says... Uh, Everyone else had already eaten dinner. He ordered this pizza. He said, I'm eating it. No one else is touching it. Well, they're probably hungry, right? At this point, it was probably a little late night snack. <laughs> yeah. I believe I, probably John Wozniak was up there. Oh, he was yeah. like, hey, I'll, I'll take some of that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, nah, nah, nah. John, get your damn... Get your finger, quarter rolling fingers out of here. <laughs> and then Gus Lett was like, Well, what about me? He's like, Get the hell out of here, Gus. And then he got a trainer, Tim. He's got them all. He's like, Get you. Actually, by the way, <laughs> you want to know? You want to know, John? That's awesome. And then he gets sick from it. That's oh, not awesome. No, no. That's Maybe he was sick from eating his own spit. Could be. Oh. Oh. Something to think about. Maybe he was so disgusted. Guy loved golf, though. Michael Jordan loved golf. I've got. I, I hope I could find the love of golf like that one time. Mm-hmm. What, he just won a sixth championship. He said there's still some sunlight. Get some swings in right now. Yeah. He was golfing in between finals games against opponents. Uh-huh. He was lost $1.4 million that one person, another 60000 to somebody else. Who knows how many in between or how much money he's won. But, boy, I've never seen somebody love golf as much as Michael Jordan loves golf. And I don't think they showed one single clip of Michael Jordan doing well at golf. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a setup or if that's them trying to get other people to come in and gamble or if that's actual Michael Jordan. <laughs>